What's going on guys? Jimmy here with One Road. So I just completed a grueling 2100 mile trip with this 95 Suburban. I was towing a 6x12 U-Haul trailer packed to the brim. Anyways, the purpose of this video is now that I've completed that trek and I'm here at my new house, we live in Washington now, uh, Pacific Northwest, yeah, I'm having a squeaking sound. So I'm starting my truck up and I just hear something going ee, 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 just squeak and roll out. So I think that it's either the tensioner pulley or the idler pulley. I'm pretty sure it's one of those two, but let me start the truck up so you can hear what I'm talking about. All right. It's cold out today. Gonna go ahead and start this thing up. Let's see. Okay. Pretty loud and annoying. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take the belt off and then I'm just gonna spin those by hand, the, the idler and the tensioner pulley, and I'll see which one is squeaking. Then I'll have to go to the store, buy the new one, and swap it out. What I'm really hoping is that it's not that water pump because that pump is brand new. I just put that in and that was a beast to get off. I mean, goodness. And just to clean up the, the mating surfaces and all that, I really hope it's not that water pump. All right, well, I have the belt off. I spun everything. This is the tensioner pulley. Spun that, not making any sort of squeaking sound. Spun the idler pulley, not making any squeaking sound. Spun the uh, loose uh, air conditioning compressor, no, no squeaking sound. Spun the water pump, no squeaking sound. Also spun the uh, uh, power steering pulley, no squeaking sound. But guess where I'm getting a squeaking sound? Okay, so the interesting part I can get this to squeak this way, but this way, watch, no squeaking. So at first I was thinking it was the bearings, although now I'm wondering if it's the brushes or something inside. Maybe there's an internal bearing or something. I, the only bearings I'm aware of are one on this end and one on this end. I don't know if there's something going on inside. I don't really know. Never seen inside of an alternator how these things work, but. Um, what do you guys think? Comment below. Um, I, this is obviously scaring me um, because I don't want this thing to fail on the road or something, but um, I don't know. I'm going to have to call uh, Power Master and find out what's going on. I have a uh, stethoscope in my uh, arsenal of tools. I'm going to go ahead and try to turn the truck on and listen to that alternator and see if I can hear the squeaking coming from that. Um, it's kind of hard to tell when your head's down here because the sound's bouncing around all over the place. So I'm going to turn the truck on and uh, listen and see what I can hear. Well, upon further inspection, I, I don't think it's the alternator. The, the squeaking sound is coming. It's coming from like right here. So I am not sure and what's really going to make me mad is if it's that um, if it's that uh, water pump. But I think what I'm gonna do, just to be safe and rule it out, is swap out this idler pulley, see if that takes care of it. Hopefully it will. If it doesn't, it's probably the water pump, which is brand new and is going to absolutely suck to change out again. All right guys, so I came down to my local O'Reilly and uh, ended up picking up a, a Gates, let's see, a driveline BS pulley, a BS pulley, that's what they're calling it. But it's just basically an idler pulley. Part number is 38006, if any of you guys are wondering. Um, it was 21 bucks, so, I mean, I hope this is the problem, I really, really do, and I think it is, because I just installed that water pump, it's brand new, 
if that thing gave out and the bearings are shot after like I mean a few thousand miles I'm gonna be really really ticked off but um, uh, hopefully we'll go home and put this in and see what happens round two um, I'm gonna take off the uh, belt and to do that I use my big half inch uh, ratchet with a what is that 16 millimeter I got a step down on here because for some reason I can't find my 16 millimeter on my half inch but um, 16 millimeter socket <sighs> why can't I do that now's a good time to admit that I need to go to Harbor Freight and get a breaker bar all right so there she is the original pulley it's got this uh, maybe like a spacer on it on the back it did have this little rubber o-ring back here not sure why looks like a dust shield and the bolt and then here I don't know man this thing doesn't seem to be making any noise but it is warm it only really makes the noise when it's cold. Made in Canada. There we go. There's a lot more. It's harder to spin this one. That's for sure. I know it's cold and it's and it's new. Hmm. You can see the difference. This one is AC Delco. This one, my, my original one, um, I bought it on Amazon. So I noticed in the uh, notes of online on O'Reilly.com, it said to remove the factory dust shield. So the original one has this dust shield that kind of protects, I don't know, protects the bearing or something. I, I don't know, something like that. But anyways, um, I thought it was meaning to remove it and replace it, but it won't work in here. It just won't fit in the hole. Um, yes, I have the bolt in there, but still without the bolt, it won't fit down there so um, I'll just have to set those aside I always keep all my old parts uh, to this thing in a box just in case I might need one in a pinch or something like that so but this one will just sit there like that just right on the bearing and hopefully that'll be fine had to bust out the old Pittsburgh Pro torque wrench I googled the torque spec for this and I think it what I found on a forum was 37 uh, pound feet so that's what I got this thing set at the moment of truth the time has come I'm gonna start this thing up it's been like I don't know four or five hours since I installed it so let's start this thing up and see what we're looking at Oh no, that wasn't it. Wow. It's probably the water pump. Wow. That was a complete failure, um, but not quite, because at least I ruled out that uh, it wasn't that idler pulley. If you guys like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up for me and comment below. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.